Happy Winnings Day. This is Dow Welch welcoming you to Make Your Own Headlines. Sponsored by Gus Polinski and the Kenosha Kickers and the letter C. So have you ever needed a microphone? Maybe you were given a monologue at tryouts for the school play. Maybe you were given a toast at a wedding. Or maybe you were needing a little help for your carpool karaoke club. A few weeks ago, some special microphones went on sale for a special reason. A number of famous musical artists, including Sir Paul McCartney, donated autographed or unique microphones to be sold in a charity fundraiser. The proceeds will go to support 10 different youth music programs around the country. The microphones are all priced between $800 and $1,500, which incidentally is also the range of what experts say the average American will spend on Christmas gifts this year. So, you can get somebody a whole lot of stuff, or you could have got them just one microphone donated by a beetle. On a similar note, for the good of your soul, if you're on a Zoom call, learn when to mute your microphone. Nobody wants to hear your kids arguing about who gets the last fruitcake cookie. About 2,000 years ago, some shepherds received a message that did not require a microphone. It was in super loud Beats, Bose, Dolby, Skywalker surround sound. The message was that the long-expected and anticipated Messiah, the Savior of the world, had been born. They ran to town and told everybody what had happened. And the Bible says this is how the folks in town reacted. And all who heard it marveled at what the shepherds told them. They may not have understood all the details, but they knew something had happened. They had never seen shepherds talking and acting like that before. Something happened. Look, you may not understand all the ins and outs of the Christmas story, but don't tune it out because of that. There is way too much prophecy and way too many unique moments, including smelly shepherds being the birth announcers, to just ignore the arrival of Jesus. Something happened. My friend Terry sent me this quote from C.S. Lewis a couple of days ago. Once in our world, a stable had something in it that was bigger than our whole world. Make that one of your headlines today.